Yo what is up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I set up ads for my Amazon KDP books and I hope it will bring benefit to you guys because I will be very transparent on my journey for Amazon KDP so it will help me out if you guys leave a like and then consider subscribing and without further ado, let's go first things first, what you guys have to do would be open up Google and then type in Amazon KDP right and then click on the first link that come out and it will come out like this and make sure to sign in and it will bring us to this page as you guys can see here all my books are listed here and you guys can choose any of your books that you want to put ads on it so for me i would like to put this flowers adult coloring book okay so all you need to do is to press three dots here and then find promote and advertise after that it will come out like this my books here listed here flowers or dot coloring book and we're going to run an ad campaign you can choose your marketplace for me i will usually choose the united states amazon which is amazon.com you guys can also choose a uk denmark and everything but i will choose amazon.com and press on create an ad campaign now there will be three campaign types which is sponsor products sponsor brands and lock screen ads we're going to choose on the sponsor products press on continue before we proceed i want to tell you guys that there are many more strategies on putting ads on our books okay and i think it is important if you guys do more research and finding the best way for you guys so first things first we are going to move with ad format what is ad format there are two types custom text ad and standard ad for custom text ad amazon will put a special description on your books so that you can add more something to for that we call it we can hook more customers to be more interested on your products okay for standard ad it will be just a normal ad so i'm going to pick custom text ad to show you guys how to do it so onto the products okay this product is they going to list our books here so for me i have around five books as you guys can see here if you guys pick custom text ad you can only choose one books for one ad campaign but if you choose standard ad you can choose many types of book for one campaign eh? okay let me show you guys as an example for standard ad here so this is standard ad we can add more book for one ad campaign as you guys can see here on the right side of the product so what is this for okay so let's say that you have a three or four coloring books that you want to promote in one ad campaign you can do it so what is this for so let's say you have two or three coloring books you can put all of those books in one ad campaign so it will be much more easier but for me i'll usually use one ad campaign for one book so for now i'm just going to show you guys for one ad campaign which is for my book i will choose a flower adult coloring a book onto our third part which is targeting okay what is targeting there's two targeting which is automatic targeting and also a manual targeting for automatic targeting amazon will they will use their system to target all potential customer that they think that will buy it and they will choose their own keyword but for me i will suggest for you guys to choose a manual targeting because in my experience when i use automatic automatic targeting it turns out they use more money than it should be for manual targeting you can target your own customer that you are that you think that might potential buying your product so we're going to choose a manual targeting so in manual targeting there's two targeting which is the keyword targeting and also product targeting uh, i don't want to explain more uh, detail it much more easier if i go straight to it which is just choose keyword targeting all right on to the most important part of the ads okay first you can you guys can see here there's a three parts here suggested enter list and also upload file suggested is the keywords that amazon suggests to us that we can use enter list is keywords that you can put it in yourself and also upload file for upload file i don't know how to do it i just use suggested and enter list as you guys can see here the suggested keyword put suggested bit but usually you can custom by yourself you can change it for your liking so just leave it to suggested bit and filter by will be a broad phrase and exact okay now let me explain the three things here first of all i would like to say thank you to the home boss youtube channel i'm going to put her channel on the screen here okay she explains that what is broad phrase and exact first of all let's say my book which is the flowers coloring book this is my book name okay for broad usually amazon will put they would add word in front middle and back and as an example here so we got front which is beautiful flowers 
and woman would be in the middle the amazon would add and also gift in the back which is a beautiful flowers woman coloring book gift so when people key in this full sentence they will be, there will be a chance that our book will come out so for phrase is when amazon add words in front of the sentence and behind the sentence as you guys can see here beautiful flowers coloring a book gift and for exact amazon will not add any keywords so when people put in flowers coloring book uh, that is all then amazon will suggest our book so yeah i hope you guys understand and if you don't understand you guys can also check on the home boss she explained it in more details if you guys want to understand more okay so let's continue which is the suggestive part Okay, this is all the keywords that Amazon has suggested. So for coloring book, I won't take it because why it's so broad, there will be more because the keywords is too broad. Adult coloring book, also no. Okay, as you guys can see here, there's so many keywords that Amazon suggested that is not good. So I'm going to skip gardening book. Uh, I don't think flower coloring book. So I'm going to add broad, phrase and exact. What else? Flower book, uh, should I? Yeah, maybe I'm going to edit flower book. Home's flower coloring book adult. Also, I'm going to add. Okay. If you guys can see here, there's a bit in the right corner. This will I will explain later. We're just going to add all the keywords, potential keywords. Okay, after you guys are done choosing all the keywords that Amazon suggested. Okay, and let's say you still have some keywords that you want to enter. Just press on the enter list here and you can key in more. So let's example, I want to key in more florist coloring a book okay what else bokeh bokeh how do i pronounce it bokeh coloring book okay so when you key in everything just press on add keywords here and just choose a bit that you would like to enter i would put 20 cents so let's say you guys have decided all the keywords potential keywords that you want and what's left here is to put on the bit that you would like to key in okay what is bit bit is when you fight with other seller if the higher the bit the more potential that your book will put in the front page of amazon first page the lower maybe your book will be will put a, a little bit lower in the second page or third page something like that so for me i want to cut cost i just put 20 cent for each book and sometimes there's book that amazon give a suggestion suggest bit such as this botanical book illustrated where they said that in the range it would be 0.43 cent until 0.82 cents if you guys want to follow the range it depends on you guys but for me i still put 20 cents for all of the suggestion here okay because i want to save the cost of making the ad and tada so i've changed all my keywords to 20 cents bit okay so i've completed so on to the next subject which is the negative keyword target so but for me i usually just keep it i just ignore it i don't i don't mess with it so let's just proceed with creative okay so this is creative this is what people see when they search your book okay so let's say the custom tag you can put about your book the best book about flowers what else so many types of flowers for you to color and relieve stress i don't know I, i'm just it depends on you guys you can you guys can make your own best suitable sentence that you can come up with so i'm just showing you an example so this will how it will looks like when people search the book flowers coloring book after all of these are done we can continue with campaign campaign bidding strategy what is campaign bidding strategy so there are three types dynamic bids ups and down dynamic bids down only and fixed speed so as an example all my keywords i put 20 cents so if i put up and down amazon will potential use more than 20 cents and maybe below than 20 cents if dynamic bits down only so let's say my book i put on 20 cents so amazon maybe use lower than that 18 cents 17 cents maybe 10 cents and also fixed speed fixed speed is when amazon use the same amount that i put in so when i put in 20 cents then amazon will only use 20 cents okay and remember everything this is charged when people click on your ad if people saw your ad but never click it then it will not cost you so don't worry maybe after you are done maybe you can check on your analytics and if you think and also you can adjust to your liking okay you can mess with it later on the settings here campaign name i would put flowers uh 
flowers ad. you guys can put anything that you like so for the ads when will it start i will put today and end i will put let's say the end of the month okay you guys can put on when do you want to end it but for me i will put june 30 for the daily budget okay this is depend every day what 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 is your budget for me i put every day i would put ten dollars okay and don't worry you can put five dollars two dollars three dollars doesn't matter depends on your budget and if the budget reach let's say i put ten dollars and the budget reach ten dollars so the ad will stop for that day and for the next day they will continue back okay and we are done so before we're going to launch our campaign maybe make your second checking until you are satisfied you check everything maybe add some more keyword targeting after all of those are done what's left to do is just to press launch campaign after you guys press launch campaign it will turn out like this congratulations your campaign launched successfully and all are, all of the details have been put here and yeah congratulations you have your first ad for today okay now the most important part how do you guys want to check your analytics what you have to do is just to go in google and press amazon ads manager okay and press the first one which is a sign in to amazon ads and make sure to sign in everything okay and the page will turn out like this please select a country for me i put my ads on united states so i have to choose united states after you guys have signed in okay they will give us the full details of your ads as example here i have spent around 160 us dollars and i have 46,000 impressions and 309 clicks for all my ads but if you want to be more details uh, such as this my ads that i've just made like a second ago we're gonna press here and they will give us a full detail how much you spend how much sale but for now there are no details because i just launched it and i also i have to wait for the review of the amazon okay so yeah and i guess that is all for today's video i hope you guys like it and if you do please do make sure to like if you want to see more please do consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye see ya